Hello everybody and welcome back to Teensy Vintage. This is Teresa. As you can probably hear, I still have a cold and actually it's not a cold, it's COVID. So make sure you get those vaccines, kids. Get tested and uh, take care of yourselves because this is no fun. All right, so today we are making a piece on a cardboard substrate and this is the back of a pad of um, mixed media paper it's just a really sturdy smooth piece of cardboard um, it really perfect in my opinion for making art upon you can glue stuff to it you can paint on it um, and we're obviously collaging some pieces of old magazines and a little bit of scrapbook paper um, and just some ephemera. The old magazines from a 1935 Business Week issue and I know some people get really upset when uh, you talk about tearing up old books and magazines but you know what there's a ton of them out there um, and a lot of this information has been digitized so the information is available for people that need it. Um, this book was actually being discarded by the library so I saved it to make art with it and uh, I'm really happy about that. Um, so uh, I'm just putting down a layer of all the various pages that I've got uh, some book pages, some advertisements, and I'm just making a layer um, for our background. And as y'all know, only some of this will show through, and that's okay. That's the point. Um, so here is, uh, I liked this picture. This was a picture of a train car that I thought was pretty cool. Um, so that's going to go down there in the corner. Lots of numbers, rows of, of, of um, data points, a little bit of advertisements, and I'm making sure all of my edges are glued down. I'm using uh, matte medium today um, as, my, as my glue. These pages are already kind of yellow, and I didn't want them to be more yellow. Uh, sometimes other glues can do that, so I just wanted to err on the side of caution and keep the yellow where I wanted it. <laughs> so, um, I'm using a fancy card that the cable company sent me trying to get me to come back. Um, I said, no thank you, but the card is excellent for spreading... Uh, glue and matte medium gel around and all that other stuff so um, I really appreciate them sending me those in the mail because I can use them they're great we're gonna make sure everything's nice and dry before we start putting our color and other things down and we're gonna cut off all of the pieces that hang off the edge um, the nice thing about this always just glue stuff hanging over the edge that way you don't have to worry about meeting the edge and having it look just right. You can literally cut off the extra and it looks fantastic. And I've got the teeny tiny scissors because there were some little bits that just needed a little extra uh, love. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we've got a beautiful background and I am just touching up some of the edges that didn't get glued down. <laughs> Just so they don't peel up later. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of corners here and there. Yeah, make sure those are nice and dry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I made this piece Saturday night when I started feeling a lot better. And honest to goodness, it was so nice to do something besides be sick. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun making this piece. Granted, it took me another three days to, to get to at the point of editing, but that's okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna do some stenciling, but I'm also trying to pick out what colors I'm gonna go with. And I end up going with uh, some Dina Wakely and some Dilutions. The Dina Wakely, let's see, I've got Peacock and Lime, and the Dilutions green is, should be Mode, oh sorry, Cut Grass. Um, and these are just, I don't know, they just spoke to me. They're very bright and cheerful colors. And I'm just putting them down. You know, you get that problem with a pristine piece of paper. Well, you can also have that problem of not knowing what to do when you've got your, you know, background collaged. Because it's like, ooh, this is, this is cool. Um, there's a little bit of Balmy Night, which is a really dark bluish gray from uh, Dilutions. And I'm going in with this just to, you know, get rid of all the, the blank spots that are left. And to, you know, help push back the background just a little bit. And remember, a little bit of this paint goes a long way. You know, you can always pour out more paint if you need it. Can't put it back in the bottle. Well, you can, but it's kind of gross. Um, here is our next part. All right, so you could use white acrylic paint if you wanted to, but I had uh, gesso out, and I really love just how flat the gesso is. So I'm using the gesso to go over this very delicate stencil. Um, this stencil is a Joggles stencil, and I'm just going over certain areas. I'm not doing a full page of it, but I'm covering specific parts, and I'm checking my work as I go along. But this gives it a really interesting ghostly floral layer. Um, I really like how this turned out. And um, I go ahead and add some more flowers to different parts of the piece. And, you know, turn your surface around as needed. Get comfortable. Work in a way that's comfortable. You'll get better results, I promise. Um, this way I don't have to, like, lean my arm on wet, wet gesso. And we'll put some more over here on this side. Basically what I'm doing is trying to balance out all the areas that I'm putting um, this gesso on. Because <clears throat> again, I don't want it to be a whole consistent layer. I just want it to be a little choppy with, with floral um, bits here and there. And I can go back and add a little more you know, later as needed, see, so we can do uh, a little bit darker um, uh, flowers as well. Now I'm just taking what's left and just kind of, um, you know, zhuzhing <laughs> the rest of the piece um, with a little bit of gesso here and there. And it cleans up very easy with a little bit of water and a paper towel. Okay. So, I'm really happy with how this is going. We're going to make sure everything's nice and dry before we go to our next layer. I do want to tell you, I um, struggled a bit with the focal for this piece. I had a lot of things sitting on my desk here, and a lot of them were like, oh, that could be cool. But, um, sometimes things just don't work, and you gotta let it go. And today, I just didn't let some of them go <laughs> until much too late. Um, that's okay. So I've got this very interesting uh, circle that I cut out. From some scrapbook paper, I have this guy, uh, Mr. 1930s business guy, leaving the office. I've got an enlarged image of a Guatemalan stamp. Um, I also have a cool image of a cowgirl on a horse. Um, 
and I, wow, I really wanted to use this cowgirl image, y'all. I even um, decal cut the edges to give it more interest, but she just ended up not being the right piece. Um, I did try. I tried a whole lot. I tried for like half an hour. <laughs> so, uh, maybe she will fit in the next piece. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make that piece work, y'all, and it just isn't working. Um, anyway, that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, I, I sit down and I have a rough idea of what I'm doing. And sometimes I sit down and that rough idea is really off the mark. Um, like the circle and the cowgirl. It's like, yeah, no, that's not going to work today. Um, now, even the salesman, I'm like, what can I do to make this a little better for this piece? And so I, I round the corners and I'm, I'm noticing all of my pieces are very vertical. So I'm trying to get something to be horizontal here. Um, and we're going to go into the stash, see what we can find. And that, that roll off page there on the right with the pink is what we're going to end up with. Um, I pull out a couple die cuts, other scraps, but yeah, those don't need to worry. And that, that pink piece right there looks just so cool. So I use my ruler to help me do a really nice clean tear. Um, and I end up with a kind of a, it's a, a wedge sized piece. It's like a bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. And I'm going to end up putting it. Yes, there we go. So it's, it's coming together now. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the pink. It's a good contrast to all of the, um, nice cool colors that we've got going on over there in the rest of the piece. Um, so we're going to turn that around a little bit. And a lot of this, y'all, is just playing audition shapes, audition um, directions, you know, what, would this look better up or down or sideways? You know, sometimes it's just a matter of flipping a piece. Um, I really wanted to make sure to get that guy in the stamps mustache <laughs> his mustache is pretty amazing so um i wanted to make sure that i had that there you'll see now i've got a couple more pieces up top with some uh pinks in it and i guess i accidentally cut those out of the the video sorry y'all we're going to blame it on brain fog. Anyway, those two pieces kind of add an element of movement and color. Um, since my focal is black and white, it sticks out pretty well against this, you know, really colorful piece. Um, but it's, it can also get lost too. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm really liking this. And I'm going to use a pencil just to mark where I want that piece to go. Yeah, and when I glue that piece down, I glue it down right on top of the pencil so you can't see it. You'll never know it was there. Um, we've got our trusty glue stick here. I love this glue stick. I can see exactly where I've put the glue, and when it dries, it dries clear. Also, I can, you know, pick it up and move my piece if I need to uh, within the first couple seconds, which is nice because sometimes I put it down in the wrong place or I put it down at a weird angle. Um, and we're still playing with the, the layout here, but I'm pretty sure this is what's going to end up working. Yeah. Often I'll take a picture of the composition that I, you know, want to make. Um, but since I was using my phone for the uh, video, recording the video, I 
couldn't do that. <laughs> Hence all of the measuring and, you know, gluing things in place while other things are hanging out. <laughs> do whatever works. You could also sketch it, too, if you wanted to have something um, as your guide. But with this many pieces, it was like there was no way I was going to remember what went where. <laughs> I'm trying to use a little bit of, uh, what is it called? Glossy accents there to glue the butterfly, but my tip was clogged, so I just used the glue stick on it and made sure to add some pressure, and it worked out just fine. And I have some text from an old book that I thought worked really well for this particular piece. So we'll glue those down. This whole piece um, ended up kind of being about leaving and um, doing something new and... I, I don't know. It just kind of came together. The ad with the man was originally about a salesman quitting his job. And um, it just all kind of worked together in this sense of, you know, something's not working. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to go do something else. Um, and this text here was, you know, the man was upset and he was pacing his office. And then you have the butterfly, which is the symbol, um, you know, can be a symbol of freedom. Um, so that was, that was cool. Just a nice bit of serendipity. It all coming together. Um, using a little archival ink here just to go around the edges. And kind of give it a nice finished look. And I just want to add a little more color just around the edges. So instead of like a black or a, a dark blue, I'm just using a lime green Stabilo Woody. I've also got a yellow and a purple that I'll use just to add a little more color in very specific places. I'm using my finger to kind of smudge them. I'm not using water to activate them because I didn't want a watercolor look. I just wanted a nice smudgy look. Um, and we'll do a, a little bit of mark making over here with our purple um, woody and just for funsies I, I wanted to make sure that I had some gel medium on the text that I had put down so it wouldn't curl up and I also went over the marks which since they're water soluble they smudged a little bit, but it came out looking kind of cool. So yeah, here we are. We're at the end. I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I am getting a lot better, so thank you to everybody that, that reached out with well wishes. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>